Welcome to the quick tour of the Bioconductor website. The URL is bioconductor.org. Let's say that I'm interested in exploring Bioconductor packages, but I don't know which package I'm really looking for. I'll click on Explore Packages. I know that I'm looking for a package that has something to do with microarrays, so I'll start typing that here. So now it's just showing me the packages that have something to do with microarrays, but there's an awful lot of them. I sort of remember that the package is maybe called LAM, LIM, something. I start typing, oh, LIMA, there it is. So now I'm looking at the landing page for this package. All the information about this package is here. First it tells me how to install it. So you actually don't install a package from the web, you do it in R. So I'm going to copy this text. I'll start R, and then I'll paste that text. The Lima package is now installed. If I want to actually load the package and use it, I have to type library Lima. The package is now loaded. So let's go back to the website. Now that I know what the package is called, by the way, I can quickly find it just by typing the name in the search box, Lima. And it shows up very right close to the top, and I can just click and get back to the package landing page where I was before. Uh, I want to learn more about this package. I can see that there's a documentation section, and there are uh, documents here. These are called vignettes. Also, the automatically generated reference manual. I can click on these. I can see the, the one page introduction here. I can go back and see a much more detailed, longer introduction. This is, uh, this is quite long. And then this is the automatic, automatically generated reference manual that shows information about every function in the package. Now, an important thing to know is that you can get all this information within R as well as from this page. So now we'll go to R and we'll look at some ways to find the same information. Now we're back in R and we can look at the vignette within R by saying browse vignettes lemma. That opens up a web browser and then I can see the vignette like that. Uh, I can also get help by saying help package equals lemma. And this gives me a lot of information about the package, including um, the functions that you can call. So let's say I'm interested in this function. I can just type question mark and then the function name, and I get a detailed help page with examples. And if I want to see the code of the function, I just type the name of the function without parentheses. And there it is. So now we know how to get the same information from R and from the website. Let's say we still have some questions about a package. We should go to the support site. We scroll down, click on support. Um, let's suppose we have a question again about Lima. So we can type Lima here and we see a whole lot of answers and maybe one of these answers our question. It might be a good idea to add some more terms into the search box. To, uh, to narrow down the search a little bit. But let's say we've looked through the list of, quest of search results here, and we still have a question. So we can click on Ask Question here, and uh, it looks like we have to log in. So if you have an account on any of these services, you can easily uh, just log in with a couple of clicks here. Um, or if you want to use your email, you can register. And um, you just have to put your email and your password, and you're basically good. Um, so let's suppose that we've registered. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and log in with my existing account. Okay, so now I can ask a question. And uh, it's a good idea to, to put a very descriptive, succinct title here. And if my question is about Lima, I should write that here. 
any other relevant little tags or terms or packages that, that have to do with your package, you should put them here. And then it's a really good idea to read this posting guide um, because this makes sure that you put the relevant information in your post and, and that people will be able to help you. Um, and one of the things that it talks about is putting the session info in a post. And what is that? Well, uh, session info is an R command, and you can go to R, and you can type session info, and you copy and paste this into your post. And it's good to run that command after you've loaded the packages that you're having trouble with. And if you paste that into your post, um, and of course you also want to you want to include here the information, that the, the exact problem that you've had and the error message that you've had. Um, but the session info will also help people who are trying to help, help you answer your question. This will help them figure out the answer. Our Twitter feed is right on the front page of the website. And so we have announcements about conferences and courses. And every new package that's added to Bioconductor is also tweeted here. Um, and speaking of conferences and courses, our events section lists everything that's upcoming. Uh, for example, our annual conference in 2014 is here. If you want to register for this conference, you just click on the link. Thank you for taking the quick tour of the Bioconductor website.